crypto lightsaber back with another cryptocurrency video i wanted to do an update on some of the passive income platforms that i haven't spoken about in a little while on the channel all right guys um yeah we've been in a bear market at the end of the day and uh, most of the platforms that we're talking about they have taken a hit uh, which is inevitable you can't expect um you know some of the top most famous uh, bullish cryptocurrencies in the world to take a hit and not expect your low cap altcoins and um, DeFi as a whole to take a hit as well uh, so we have seen some downside in the market we've seen downside in some of our favorite DeFi platforms like drip network for example okay guys um there's other platforms i'm in people have been asking you know is this dead is splassive dead for example we'll take a quick look at splassive um, we're going to take a look at a new one that I've got into EMP money was well, not new it's new to me because you know I've, I've not been in it as long as some other people um, we're also going to take a look at piston token all right guys so starting with drip <clears throat> drip network is a uh, yeah I mean I've been buying more drip you'll notice from my previous videos I had under a thousand drip I'm now just under 2,000 drip okay guys so I've been buying it taking advantage of the low prices I've not been going in super heavy all right guys um, at one point this account was at like seventy thousand dollars plus I have a second account as well this is just one of my accounts so I have two accounts you see that this account is built not off referrals okay these are hardcore um, deposits okay guys so 2.2 drip in referrals on there i never really you know went hard on referrals in drip to be honest um but yeah you can see my deposits we're up to 1920 drip some of those are at different prices so it's dca and in um but yeah sitting at about six dollars and 34 cents at the time of recording this video um over time i've been averaging in and getting a bigger position on drip network so where this position would have cost in excess of um i mean if we look at the peak right so the peak was about 191 dollars at the time i think i had about seventy thousand dollars at the peak um right now if this was to go all the way back to um all-time high right about 190 dollars right um times that by 190 dollars <clears throat> that would take my account to what is it 70 140 probably about a five six x from from where you know where it was before right so it does make sense to buy the dips right buy the dips the hope is is that drip will return to his all-time highs even if it doesn't return to his all-time highs and be sitting in a hefty profit now me personally i've been in drip from the very beginning very small um about around the middle of its life i decided to go a little bit bigger very small deposit about five thousand dollars which took me all the way up to seventy thousand dollars at the time i've way more than roi on this dap okay guys um but we have seen a massive decrease in the price of drip okay guys obviously going from almost two hundred dollars down to six dollars and 34 cents but that can either be a good thing for you or a bad thing right i think it could be a good thing uh because if you believe that the price is going to return to all-time highs or even if it does half of that and drip goes to like a hundred dollars right you can be sitting pretty decent right from six dollars and 34 cents to a hundred dollars let's say it just did a 10x from here and went to sixty dollars you're still going to be making a nice return on your investment because you have to remember you're also getting one percent a day up to 365 percent all right guys so if you were to of course, I've claimed 1.4, um, you know, 1.4k drip, right? But you know, my max payout takes me over a million dollars potentially, right? So if the price, as uh, that's if the price goes back to all-time high. So if the price goes back to all-time high, or even close to all-time high, that could be potentially a million-dollar account, a drip account. Okay, if you're selling the drip responsibly. So have I been buying more drip? I have been buying more drip. Um, I still believe in the potential of it. Um, I do believe that the animal farm is going to be switched back on soon and that's going to help the price of drip. It is very frustrating the fact that it's been off for so long because I do have money locked up. I'm not locked up in the animal farm, I'm in the piggy bank, drip garden and so on. I emergency withdrew my funds out of the farms, fortunately, um, a little while back. So um, I'm not too overexposed in the animal farm. But I do believe that when the animal farm comes on, 
just like we saw uh, in uh, in the initial phase, that took the price of drip to its all-time highs. And I think that there's lots of potential for the animal farm to take the price of drip. Uh, maybe not to all-time highs, I don't know. All right, It would be nice if it did, but you know, it should give us some price appreciation from this point. And I believe that potentially by the end of the month, or going into next month, August, we could potentially see the animal farm back up and running to its full potential and uh, a lot of people happy there's going to be a lot more promotion um recent amas from 4 shark would suggest that that's going to be the case so uh i am buying more drip um i want to get this account to max payout and um how quickly that takes i don't know but right now i'm compounding hyper compounding and i've been buying more all right guys it's all good compounding but i always recommend it. at the end of the day Compounding is not really bringing new capital in. It's just relieving a little bit of sell selling pressure, right? You also want to be buying drip. If you're supporting the platform, you want to be buying drip. And uh, that's going to help get the price up, ultimately. Okay, guys. <clears throat> so, another one um, that I wanted to talk about is Splassiv. People have, been, uh, people have been asking me if I believe that Splassiv is dead now. Um, Splassiv, of course, is on the Avalanche Network. So, we're just going to switch... Uh, switch network real real quick okay guys so splassive um right so the price of splassive has been kind of doing what everybody everything else is doing it's been going down right it's down to about 30 cents which is not incredible okay we saw a price spike when they had their competition buying competition and um it's just not created a lasting effect for the price action, right? If they had something like um, with EMP, which we're going to talk about, um, EMP is another one that I'm in. It might make it might have made the price continue to go because it's continual. There's a continual reward uh, potential there, right? With their um, with the bonuses that they're paying out, or the uh, top deposit bonus that they're paying out on EMP, which we'll get into in a minute. But um, do I think that Splasher is dead? Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's dead. I think it's not doing too well. I do think it can turn around with the rest of the market when the rest of the market turns around, DeFi in general. But um, ultimately, <clears throat> um, they have been still been building. We've seen little updates on the website. I believe they've just partnered with the Bandit Project as well, um, one that I've been talking about on the channel. And so they're getting partnerships. And they've got this whole rock, paper, scissors game thing going on, which I've not really looked into, to be honest. Uh, but this is a way where you can earn additional rewards on or additional um, prizes or whatever. Um, they did kind of hint at some things like the uh, the other gamification type things that they had coming on here. And they've got the game coming and things like that. But right now, um, it's not looking incredible. I will say that. Um, am I buying Splash? I've not been buying Splash, okay? So I have quite a large, or had quite a large Splash account already. Um, but, um, you know, it's a good time to be compounding and getting those deposits up. Um, I no longer hold any wave, so I've not been getting any referrals. Uh, but I have been compounding, okay, guys. And, um, you know, we're nowhere near max payout. We're almost halfway there, okay, guys. But, um, yeah, it's a good time to potentially be compounding and um, potentially buying in. One of the main reasons why I haven't bought in, I mean, the last time I bought in, I put a significant deposit in, which has gone down, clearly. Um, but because of the price impact, it's, uh, it's a very short-lived pump, right? The best way to do it is to buy in small amounts and uh, kind of averaging over time, okay, guys? Um, but, yeah, having patience to DCA into something that's just continuously dropping... Um, we'd have to wait and see how it works out, to be honest. Um, I like to go in with decent deposits when it comes to these things, but if the price impact is just going to make it spike up, um, I get a little bit impatient waiting to put my next deposit in. So I haven't been buying Splassive. Uh, my hope is that, is that the price does return to a decent price over a dollar. Okay, guys, um, even closer to $3 will be nice. But um, yeah, right now I've got... Uh, my max payout is 46,000 splash okay guys and it's not worth much at the moment so uh, you can potentially pick up this project for very cheap um whether they can come back or not um i would like it to uh, i would like it to because i really i still think it's a good project okay um the fundamentals and all of that stuff hasn't changed for splashive that's what i will say so you know it's all about marketing it's all about them getting people on board um, the exploit that they had previously didn't, didn't really help, 
okay guys but um yeah my hope is, is that splashive will come roaring back i'm still a user of the platform at the end of the day and um yeah i've got high hopes for it um only time will tell whether it can turn around again we've seen it with drip drips had a lot of ups and downs over the past year and so um, where it came, it, when it first came out, it came up, it came all the way back down, and then it went and made new all-time highs before it started developing the animal farm. There was the bee farm and things like that catalyst that made it pump. Um, we haven't seen any other catalyst for splash it, right? Unless they start building like some sort of splash farm or something like that that can really become a catalyst for the price on this, right? And we saw splash pads and so on. It looks like splash pads. Um, it's not really, well, it's still, it's still there. They've changed it, right? So splash pads are still there. I never went in on splash pads, but you know, that was a good innovation that helped the project temporarily. Will it help it in the long term? Uh, we well, should do considering the liquidity pool tokens or so on, but there needs to be more innovation so that we can get a catalyst to make this thing pump. All right, guys. So that's my view on Splashive. I don't think it's dead. I just think it's taking its time and, um, the, bear market doesn't really help any platform really okay um before we get on to piston token let's just have a look at emp just in relation to what i was saying with splashive right so emp money is a new one that uh, uh well it's a new one to me um that i've recently been using uh one of the reasons i like emp is because it's an ethereum based project on the binance smart chain so the fees are cheap right but um, if you want exposure to Ethereum in a bear market, while the prices are low, you can basically buy um, EMP, EMP money, right? Um, and you can uh, you can grow with the you know when the bull run returns. If you're just compounding over here, you're basically growing your your exposure to Ethereum, right? There's a top deposit price, which I'm annoyingly um, I missed out uh, by not. But when I zapped in, um, when I was going into this. I went in with about ten thousand dollars or ten thousand six hundred dollars at the time, and uh, my deposit literally was just a few seconds over the timer. You have a timer up here, and uh, I literally by a few seconds missed out on the top deposit prize. Every single day they have a top deposit prize. Okay, at the time it was about twenty nine thousand, so I missed out on an additional twenty nine thousand dollars in top deposit prize, which should have been mine. It really should have been mine, but um, it's my own fault for not kind of... I did test out the deposit before, but um, yeah, I didn't realize that... Um, I think it, I had issues... Um, I, it took a little while for me to confirm it in my MetaMask when I made the deposit. So I missed out, and it, it, wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a good feeling at all. Okay, guys, because my sole purpose was to win the top deposit prize. I'll be waiting to snipe it, and I will get it again. I will do it. I, I will go for it again, and I will get it next time. I will get the top deposit next time, all right, guys? Um, and it makes all the difference, right? Because like I said, it's exposure to ETH. EMP is an algorithmically backed stable coin. Obviously, you guys know how these things work already, okay? You got EMP, you got eShares. Um, I was impressed with the developer or the lead developer, AJ. And I saw an AMA from that guy the other day. And, um, you know, he's um, a, a disabled person. Um, he's in a wheelchair and things like that. People say he reminds them, um, them of stephen hawking and things like that um so the fact that like this guy's passion and his drive um in crypto considering his situation as well he's not just allowed any sort of disability or anything to stop him from winning in crypto and just doing what he loves right development um innovating right guys so i was really impressed with him and uh, i wanted to support this project although i bought into this before i even knew that okay i'd heard about it before but people kind of didn't mention anything about his disabilities or him being um in a wheelchair or anything like that i don't know what uh, the, the whole situation is but um in his ama he was talking about how he did a campaign for obama and things like that the guy's got experience right, when it comes to marketing and things like that so uh yeah made me even more bullish on his project um because a lot of times when we're investing in projects we're investing in the developers as much as we're developing uh, uh, sorry, as much as we're investing in the platform right so uh yeah the developer makes me bullish on this as well and um yeah i mean as a whole um it's a pretty decent platform right um it's lp tokens lp in lp out and um you have your daily burst i initially thought that this was going to be giving me one percent a day because it pays out up to 365 percent but it's not necessarily one percent a day i think it's paying out about 0.5 percent a day 
um, which makes it more sustainable, really. Okay, it means you have to wait twice longer for your uh, return on investment or your full full ROI, right? But makes it sustainable. Okay, and the EMP is a algorithmically backed stable coin, so that paired up with ETH is pretty decent as well. It's pretty decent. You've got your exposure to ETH. Um, you know what I would do is just compound. Okay, and then when you do claim, what you can do is because I'm building like this is my way of building up um, some more, uh, you know, exposure to ETH, right? I can basically just when I claim the rewards, I can uh, sell the EMP into ETH, right? Um, remove liquidity and sell the EMP into ETH and just increase my my ETH, and then Ethereum will increase over time. You see, the max payout right here is about 46k. Um, if it continues to compound, maybe get that to 100k, and then just basically stack that um, over time as the price of Ethereum recovers, that will grow that exponentially as well, All right, guys? So, in terms of exposure, it's probably the less risky. Um, of course, with EMP, they have to keep EMP on peg, right? Which is, I don't believe it's on peg at the moment. Um, so it does come on and off peg. Um, but you know you know how, how these things work you can go into the boardroom when it's on peg and you can earn they've also got EMP nodes and so on uh, but the main main thing that I'm in on this is the detonator okay but um, yeah if you're exposed to Ethereum it's probably the safest out of all of them drip network splashive piston and so on right because they're more volatile ethereum is less volatile and it's proven over time so uh, another thing as well they are partnered with liquid capital Okay, guys, um, you saw my video on Liquid Capital. Um, might as well just do a quick overview. I actually supported Ames because, you know, I'm a big supporter of Alto. Okay, so I did go in on Liquid Capital. We're waiting for that thing to load, uh, uh, to go live. But, um, yeah, EMP are also partnered with them. And they've actually raised the most, um, uh, I think it's closer to half a million dollars. So pretty decent, right? Pretty decent. EMP money definitely doing good things, big things in the space. And um, I've heard a lot about them. People speak very highly of them. And um, yeah, I, I want a piece of the action. Okay, guys. So finally, we're going to talk about Piston Token. Um, the price of Piston has been falling. Okay, guys, it has been falling. And um, yeah, I mean, one thing that I did see, I believe that Piston are going to be partnering with ApeSwap. I know there was some controversy before with Drip Network and ApeSwap, um, but yeah, I saw something about Piston partnering with ApeSwap. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I do believe they may be partnering with ApeSwap, so that would be a good thing for them. Okay, I'm not sure what the partnership would do for Piston, but uh, maybe maybe farming or something like that. Um, but yeah, Piston is one that. Um, I've not been, I've probably got less exposure or had less exposure to Piston as a whole. And one thing that disappointed me was the fact that my Diamond team has fizzled out. Of course, that was their original project, my Diamond team. And my Diamond team is no longer operational. Okay, guys, so that is a passive income platform that, you know, I was earning quite a lot on, 1.5% a day, and I'm no longer earning on. Okay, um, so Piston Race, they say, is now their main focus. Okay, this is their main focus, their native token. They probably got more power to obviously keep this platform alive, having control over their own token. Um, my diamond team was a B and B to uh, a B and B platform, right? And um, they struggle to get users in. It does put a question on their ability to market and keep their platforms alive. I will say that. Um, but yeah, the fact that they're still innovating, they've got NFTs coming and a game, they've got the game coming, I believe it's launching uh, sometime, I don't want to give a date, but I thought it was going to be like uh, August, oh sorry, no, it's April 2023, which is a long way away, but they've got the game that's going to be launching, which you can look into in your own time. Um, it's a pretty decent, well-designed platform, okay guys, but... Like I said, it calls into question whether they're able to market effectively. I know there has been some pretty decent videos coming out on it. Not the usual circle that we're used to. Uh, not the drip community been going, uh, not been going like nuts on this in terms of marketing. But we've seen a lot of people outside of the drip community, um, influencers and so on, talking about Piston Race, right? So uh, they've tapped into another market. Uh, maybe not another market, but um, an audience that... Uh, 
is outside of the Drip community, you know, which could be a good thing or a bad thing at the end of the day. Um, they may be able to broaden their horizons and reach people that the Drip community can't reach. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's not been performing the greatest at the moment, but at the end of the day, it did have a pump, it had a super pump, and um, it's only natural that it would come back down, okay? It cycles, charts go up and down. So I'm hoping that this can come back. Um, I've been doing some compounding, but a lot less compounding recently, okay? Because, um, yeah, I'd rather take, like with some platforms, what I do is I take profits from them, and I kind of funnel those profits into other platforms that I'm more bullish on. Not that I'm not bullish on Piston Race at the end of the day, but... Um, I bought into it, I wanted to have some exposure to it. Um, I got in on the pre-sale and then I got out and I bought it back on a dip and um, yeah, it, it did well. Um, but ultimately, like these projects are not proven in terms of upside, right? Only time will tell whether we can get more upside out of them. But I'm not afraid to lock up funds in, into them and see how they perform over time at the end of the day, right? And in the meantime, I'm able to collect my 1% a day. So I'm happy, right? 1% a day. Um, you can't complain. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a brief overview. Okay, guys, out of all of them, I'm buying EMP and I'm buying Drip. I am topping those up. I'm not topping up Splashive. I'm not topping up Piston, although I am compounding and claiming. I'm mixing it up. Okay, guys, um, still got to pay yourself. All right, guys, nothing wrong with claiming. So uh, you do what you do. Um, I'm going to leave my links in the description so you can come and check out the platforms for yourself. Invest or don't invest, completely up to you. And um, yeah, just wanted to give you that update, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications, and I'll see you in the very next one.